So I just told you that um, I was born and raised in Manarewa. My family came from England in the late 1800s on the Waka the Ruahini. Uh, my mountain is Matukatukurao over here, Wuri Mountain, and my marae is Manarewa Marae. Um, blessed to be in the role that I am in local government, uh, being able to do God's work in the community, privileged, and, and Claudette is right, God will deliver the right answer for us in this coming election. What I can tell you about um, politics is actions speak louder than words, so when you're having to think about ticking that box, it's the actions that you've seen coming up to the election that will help you make that decision, I'm sure. The beauty of living in Manarewa is not only are we so diverse, which has changed so much over my 50 years of living here, um, we were a very small community, we are a very European community, and now we're so beautifully diverse, and I look at you out here and it reminds me of the citizenship ceremonies that I hold every couple of months over at the Vodafone Centre, and just so many people from so many different countries that have had to work really hard to get here. And I was talking to my friend earlier, saying, I think we take it for granted living in this beautiful country where we're safe and we're happy. And that's all I ever ask for for my children, just be safe and be happy. And we're blessed to be here. Local government gives us the opportunity to really work hard in our communities for our communities. And, uh, you know, this morning I was down at Waddle Downs um, doing some planting. So we, the na neighbours come out and they plant some plants on the, around their, their coastal area and everyone gets to talk to each other, make new friends and, and we get, get a safe environment where we can all be together. This afternoon I'll be going down to Randwick Park where, there, where a local community is feeding the children so they can have some, a good meal before they start school again on Monday. And what I see in Manarewa is our community pulling together like that all of the time. And that's where our church communities can help. And we have some strong church communities here that just want to be able to help each other. And they're reaching out. So our church community are no longer, in the most part, sitting within the church and worshipping. They are reaching out. And we need to. We need to reach out and we need to help each other. We need to not judge each other. We need to accept each other for who we are. And that's what makes us happy here in Manarewa, which is going from strength to strength. And the other thing I'd say to you is that we get a bit of a bad rap in the media. Ignore it. Every, every community has their challenges. No one is exempt from that. They just seem to like to talk about ours a little bit more than others at times. But this is a solid, strong, committed community who are full of the most beautiful young people. If I knew when I was 18 what young people know now, man, I would have, I would have been able to do so much more with my life, I'm sure. I, I think the internet must make all of the difference to that. But the young people, I, we have a youth council on our local board, and they just, they amaze me. They amaze me with the empathy they have for so many other people, regardless of age, their knowledge, their ability to advocate for their community when it comes time to say we don't want legal highs in our community, we don't want any more corner liquor stores in our community, they go out there and they do the hard work. They have hope and they have ambition and they have that for us here in Manarewa. So, you know, Manarewa's in good hands, really good hands. So what I'd like to say is thank you, Hilda, for the opportunity of coming today. It's a real privilege. It's a pleasure. Um, I, it's really, you know, politics can be difficult. And when you've got battles with Auckland Council who want to spend all of your rates money in the city and not out here, it takes a lot of energy to continue to speak on behalf of our community. I love doing it. I love the opportunity to do it. But what gives me the greatest pleasure is coming out and seeing everybody because it can be a very, very lonely job and coming back to the community reminds me of why I do what I do and I thank God that I'm blessed to be able to have been put in this position because I would ne I'm not a politician, I'm a reluctant politician, I can tell you that. But here I am, he's put me here and I'm going to do the best job I can for all of us in the South, not just Manarewa. 
So um, thank you. Congratulations on your book launch of today. Um, it's just incredible, amazing. And um, I look forward to reading them. And I thank you for being able to share the celebration with you today. It's a very special day. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Come on, you can do better than that. Give her a big hand. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, and um, just on that note, um, Angela is right. Today is a very significant day. I just need to remind us that today is about our book launching as well as the community events and having our community entities in the house today, our government officials. Um, but please, please, if you haven't already purchased, please make your way down to the table and he will assist you uh, in purchasing books. Remember, we've got a discount today. Normally you pay $80 if you want to purchase all the books, uh, the four books today. But today we've got a one-day special today only. You get a 10% discount, so you can get them all for $72. Um, of course, we want you to buy heaps and heaps and heaps, um, obviously, because uh, we we absolutely are confident to say that these books are going to change lives, and um, and that's what we're all about. It's about transforming lives to have better communities, and I'm sure that you all agree with that. <laughs>